Even though it's not precisely a file management topic, many students have questions about whether to use File Save or File Save As. 90% of the time you should use File Save. The first time it stores a file with a name, and by the way, you name the file, don't let the computer name it. And subsequently, when you click Save by whatever method, it overwrites the contents of the old file automatically with the new file contents, works out very well, easy to use. But sometimes, maybe 10% of the time, you would want to use Save As, and what that does is allow you to change the name of the file, or the location of the file, or the type of the file. Let me demonstrate that to you. Here I have a file that I've created in Microsoft Word. This is 2013, by the way. 2010 would be easier to work with than 2013, so I thought I would show you on this version instead. I'll go up to that File tab in the upper left-hand corner and click File. And then I have here two choices, Save and Save As. You may recall from our previous videos that Save and Save As, I'm zooming in so you can see them, Save and Save As look different. If you wanted to click File Save, it would then ask you where to store it on the computer. This is 2013, it's different. They really want you to use their cloud storage, which they call SkyDrive. But you can come back here and use Computer regular computer. And then here are folders where you recently stored something previously. And if you don't like those, you can click Browse to find a new location. We'll do the same thing as we have done before. Scroll down. And remember, I have my data files in the D drive. I'll click on that. Um, and I'll come over here to the 153 class we had made. Remember about that? 153? Um, just as a class number. And in the Word folder, which I'll double click on, in the Word, let's say Word 2 file folder, here I can put my file. And I'm not letting the computer name it. I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it Word 2 Chapter. Okay, and then I'll click Save. The point then is this. That's just File Save. If I do File Save As, mm, I didn't click with a button. I used the shortcut keys. That's why you didn't see anything. If I come down here, you could click Computer again. Come down here to Browse, since it's all showing there. Now, I have the option of changing the file name by typing in a new name or changing the file type. And let me zoom in so you can see some of these. You might choose like that .doc format, if you see that. If you came down, you might choose a .pdf. That's an Adobe Acrobat file that everyone can read. You might save it as a web page even. Or you might save it as rich text format, .rtf, rich text format, so that somebody who has a completely different word processor than Microsoft Word would also be able to read it. And that's why you have this change of type, or you might change the location. You might say, up here on the address bar, you might say, oops, I should have actually put it in the Word 3 folder instead, and then you could mm, change the name or whatever you want to do any of those three options, but you're changing, and click Save. And so now, if, if I close it up, I have one in each of those folders because I did File Save As. Another handy thing is that if you forget where your file is or you let the computer choose where to put it, if you go to that browse, it will show you, oops, there we go, show you where your file is in which folder it is. And I use that a lot with students who get confused about having lost their file and can't find it somewhere. That's frequently the easiest way to find it. So File Save and Save As, both useful, both handy for what they're good for.